and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a great day. If you're new here, my name is Savannah and I like to do all things Disney related. Um, so whether you like looking at the vlogs, any Disney hauls, tips and tricks about travel, this is your channel to go to. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below if you wanna see future Disney content. Because I am going to Disney World tomorrow, I wanted to do a quick like what's in my park bag video because I already have it packed up. Um, the things change kind of throughout the season. So this would be like my fall slash winter bag. Um, it's kind of getting to be winter time. Currently November of 2022. By the time this video reaches you, my vlogs will probably already be out maybe before this. I haven't decided if I wanna do them before or after. Um, so this one will probably come out before, but I'm not gonna make any promises. So with that being said, let's get right into it. Um, first of all, this is the park bag I am bringing on this trip. Um, I just wanted something like easy to collapse down. So this is like the perfect lounge fly for that to just shove in my suitcase. Um, so this one is like the 50th anniversary lounge fly. It is beautiful. Um, it's just like a nice fabric bag. It has all of the park icons on it. We have, you know, a little space mountain moment. We have the Millennium Falcon, um, Tower of Terror. We got such a wide variety of cute little icons on there. This one is an easy like zip one and I just feel like I'm gonna be bopping around everywhere and I just need a quick bag to like shove my stuff in but also have easy access to grab stuff out uh, when I am needing to. And it's a little bit bigger, I feel like, than your standard lounge fly. So I love this bag. Um, I don't get to wear it enough when I'm at home. So definitely taking this one with me. Uh, now for the fun part is to take everything out that I currently have in that I just packed. First up, I have a water bottle. Um, I make this very well known on every single one of my videos. I do packing video. I love just packing a refillable water bottle and putting it in my park bag. Disney allows you to do that. So that way I'm not spending money on water all the time water is super expensive in the parks it's like i don't I think last time it was like five bucks for a dasani water um so you know there's lots of refill stations around the parks i am wanting to do a video on like all the places that i like to go fill up my water but um you know they have the nice ones where you stick it under and then it comes out from like the top so you don't have to sit there and awkwardly have the water like arc into the bottle um, this one is great. I got it from World of Disney. It wasn't that expensive, but, um, this thing kind of pops in and out. So I don't have leakage except for this last trip. This last trip, I literally had this bottle in my bag and it somehow, I didn't pop it the correct way. So I had a wet butt. Uh, going through Disney Springs. So that was super nice. But nine times out of 10, this thing is great. It's spill proof. Um, and then I just keep filling it up throughout the day. You can also get free water at Quick Services if you ask politely and nicely. Okay, so next up I have a like little, I call it like my refresh bag. Um, I don't really know what else to call it, but I actually got this one from Dollar Tree. Um, it's just like a little pouch. Um, it says, you're like really pretty. And I just, I like that little boost of confidence when I am really nasty and sweaty in the parks. So looking in here, um, I just have some things to kind of make myself feel fresh and clean throughout the day. You're not gonna look perfect in the parks. Like I try and take my photos in the morning when I am not sweaty and gross. And then for the rest of the day, I look like a hot mess. We've all been there. Every girl, every guy knows what I'm talking about. We've all been there. So don't act like you don't know. But um, I pack like some hoo-ha wipes just to make myself feel better. Deodorant, because again, you do get very sweaty. I have hand sanitizer just because I 
you're just touching a lot of things in the parks that other people are touching. And I think since COVID has died down, Disney does not like sanitize everything the way they used to. So just good to have that just in case. Um, I have some hand lotion. The one I have today is apple and cinnamon bark. And then this is one of my holy grails, like this Monistat chafing cream um, or gel, I guess. It uh, goes on like that. It's like a clear gel. Um, and then if you uh, like rub on your inner thighs, um, they just glide really nicely and it doesn't hurt. So I have thick thighs. Anyone that's got thick thighs knows the struggle when your thighs rub together and you just have that really bad irritation in the middle and it's hot and you're sweaty. So it just adds up. That's a lifesaver. I promise. Um, I was a little thrown off with the Monistat brand because I was under the assumption this was for like pregnancy stuff, but this is amazing and I will, I'll, I'll buy this forever. Um, this is my go-to for feeling comfortable um, when you got thick thighs. And then last of all, I have this little mirror that, um, I don't even know where I got this from. My gosh, okay. I don't know where I got this from, but um, yeah, it's, just a little handheld mirror. You just check on my face when I'm in the bathroom or I need to like touch up my makeup quick when I'm not in the bathroom. So um, I don't know if you guys know this, but some of the Disney bathrooms don't have mirrors in them and it's really hard to see what you look like when there's no mirror. So this is handy. All right, let's go dig for what's next. Um, magic bands. So some people don't use these, so this won't apply to everybody, but I do like to stay on property. Um, and even when I don't, I still use my magic band to get into the park, but, um, cause I just like wearing them. Um, but I will usually have one on obviously for my day. And then I'll always have like my extra one. Um, so I pack a few and I will leave like one, in my car or the hotel room or you know wherever i'm able to leave it for the day i'll leave one there so it's not getting lost um and then i will take an extra one in my park bag so in case i were to lose this one on a ride um i have this one as a backup so i would just go in my app and delete out the one that i lost so nobody's able to use my card info on it um and then i would just use this one for the rest of the day so just like to be cautious and extra careful um eat, yeah. magic bands can fall off your wrist so just you just never know i just like to be really prepared okay next up i have my battery pack charger and again some people do the like uh chargers that you can swap out the fuel rods that's great um I bought this one on Amazon for our trip way back in March of 2021, and it has worked great for me ever since, but it's just like this little square battery pack charger. I just put my cord in there, hook it up to my phone because your phone will die, I promise. Um, especially with all these changes and updates to the app, you're constantly scrolling on your phone. Um, we won't get into that today. It's not my favorite way of going around Disney, but here we are but because you're on your phone so much it just drains it super quick so i will just plug my phone in when i am sitting down to eat or just taking a break um, i'll do it when i'm waiting in line so i'll just hook it up in my backpack and like plug the cord in and let it charge as i'm waiting in line um so i'm kind of getting that done and out of the way that way you have your phone for the end of the day when you do want to record the fireworks or Fantasmic or whatever nighttime spectacular you're going to. I have literally done it where I left my battery pack at home one time and I really had to struggle to keep my phone alive near the end of the night leaving Hollywood Studios uh, so I could make it back to my hotel room. 
Uh, so yeah, that was a super fun experience. It made me very anxious that I didn't know how to get to my hotel without my phone directions. So um, again, just pack a battery pack charger or you can pay the $30 to get the fuel rod on Disney property and then just swap it out when it dies. Um, I'm not pulling this out of the pack, but this is a rain poncho and I swear to goodness, I pack this and it never rains. Um, there was maybe two times where I packed a poncho and it saved my life because I was able to keep going throughout the parks. Uh, Nick and I one time had a torrential downpour in Magic Kingdom uh, when we went in June this last year. It was so bad. Our shoes were soaked, but the rest of our clothes were dry. Um, we stood in line for Haunted Mansion in the rain with no cover uh, for a good chunk of that wait. And then we just walked around Magic Kingdom for the rest of the day in the ponchos because it just continued to rain. Uh, but we were able to keep going doing the indoor attractions and just bopping from place to place because we had the ponchos. Um, just made us a little more comfortable. After that experience, I went and purchased this one from Amazon. It's just a little bit nicer of a poncho. Um, I think it actually doubles as a tent is what Amazon claims. Um, obviously, I will probably not ever use that feature, but it's there if I need it. And um, this one is like a really heavy duty one, so it doesn't stick to my body. Like the other one, I felt like had cling wrap kind of style to it. Um, so my body got sweaty and then I just had like the, the poncho stick to my legs. It wasn't fun. This one's amazing. I stand by it. It's kept me super dry. Um, but again, every time I don't pack a poncho, it rains and I can't go anywhere. Every time I pack this bad boy, it usually never rains. So I am hoping that after this hurricane uh, that we just had, that we have a pretty dry trip. I also have water flavor and I probably should have just done this with the water bottle, um, but I'll bring this just to kind of switch it up throughout the day. I know drinking water can be kind of boring. Um, and when you're drinking a ton of it because it's hot out, it gets just, you gotta switch it up a little bit, right? So I just get like a really cheap one. This one's from Publix. Um, it's the Publix brand one. And then I'll squirt a few drops of that into my water just to switch it out throughout the day. But then I'm not having to buy a fountain drink at Disney. Um, also, some people just don't like the taste of Florida water and that is okay. I feel like Disney has gotten a lot better with the water filtration that they have, especially with the ones that like kind of drop down from the top. Um, I honestly cannot tell the difference between that water or like a bottled water. Um, but some people, like if you go and get tap water from somewhere, it just doesn't taste good. So having that to dump in there just to get rid of that taste can be really helpful. Obviously I take my wallet as well. Um, I have my annual pass in that. So, um, I need that just in case, you know, um, I get discounts with it. So I'll show that for my discounts and, um, free parking if I need to go park at the park for the day, um, and all that good stuff. Something I pack every trip, except for this one, apparently, cause I forgot it. Um, so I was in a rush is a tripod. Um, so like I just pack a little tripod. I either hold it like this when I'm recording something so it just stays a little more still or I'll actually <laughs> set that on the trash can, um, to take a picture. Trash cans are great for that. Um, when I'm going by myself, I'm not just going to ask a random stranger to have like a little mini photo shoot with me. So I will set it on the trash can and then take pictures with it that way. Um, and set it up against my bag or whatever I do. Um, so it just helps me take photos and fun stuff when I'm alone. I forgot it at my apartment because I was rushing here to dog sit. Um, so my boyfriend will be bringing that when we go see Wakanda forever here in about 30 minutes. So give me a comment down below if you have seen Wakanda forever yet and what your thoughts were on the movie. I am super excited to see it. And I'm probably gonna cry, so I'm just preparing for that. So that concludes everything that is in my park bag for this trip tomorrow. 
Um, if there is anything that I miss that you like to pack in your park bag, go ahead and leave a comment down below as well and tell us what that is. I'm sure everyone would love to see like what other people pack. Um, again, I will go look at people's packing videos for their Disney trips and I'll get ideas on different things to pack in my park bag or my suitcase, um, ways to make it a little more convenient for myself. And I, I just love that. Thank you again for watching. Again, please give me a big thumbs up if you found this video helpful, as well as hit that subscribe button down below. Um, that would be really helpful for my channel and I would really appreciate it. I am going to link my socials down below just so you can check those out. I also do Disney content on those um, with lots of tips and tricks. So if you find that helpful, go ahead and give those a follow as well. And I am also certified in Disney travel planning through Mickey Travels. So if you are needing a vacation quoted or you need help booking, I do all of that free of charge. So I will link my email down there as well. And you can go ahead and contact me for a free quote. As always, I hope you have a magical rest of your day.